Renee here with Miss Smelling All Day Trinae. Today I'm going to show you guys my wash day routine and also how I do finger coils on my hair. I've already washed my hair and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and put the Design Essentials Coconut and Manoi um, and it's Curl Defining Gel is what it's called. Uh, but I've already washed my hair. I used the Design Essentials almond and avocado moisturizing and detangling sulfate free shampoo and then i followed that up with a ultra moisturizing cocoa aloe deep conditioner by coils, coils by nature and i really like this um so what i do is after i've washed my hair like two times while i'm in the shower just you know give wash myself up um, I'll put this in my hair before I wash up and then keep it on my hair duration of the time that I'm washing up and then I'll go ahead and rinse this out. So after I've rinsed that out, I'll go ahead and put in the Design Essentials um, Almond and Avocado Detangling Leave-In Conditioner. And then when I get out of the shower, um, I'll go ahead and put in my coconut and, and Manoi uh, curl defining gel. And I really like this because it's a very moisturizing gel. I don't have to put a cream underneath the gel. Um, I can use this as a standalone. And for me, it lasts about, I'll say it lasts four days, but the first two and three days are where my curls are really juicy, really popping. Um, so I'm just gonna kinda go ahead and get started with the coconut and Manoi curl defining gel. And then we'll get some finger coiling it. Um, so usually what I do, I go ahead and take a good bit of it, like maybe about, mm, I don't know. I just, I just grab a little bit like that much. You can't even really see it. And then I just put that through my edges and my back. I'm gonna put some more on my back, my hair. And then put it through the rest of my hair. I like to make sure I get to the scalp also. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to separate this into sections. I'm just going to start finger coiling it. Do it from the root just so it'll be a little bit tighter. Oh, I love this stuff. This is actually pretty fast. It probably takes like maybe 10 minutes on on um on a tapered cut let me see i think i'm gonna do smaller sections
I'm gonna do this one anyway. better to do smaller sections and then you have more defined finger coils when it's time to separate them All right, guys, I'm almost done. Um, I'm just gonna get this, this layer right here. 
And then I'm gonna use my sponge brush on the rest of the hair. I really like the sponge brush because it does in only a few minutes what it would take a lot longer to do by hand. Um, so what that's gonna do is around the edges, because the hair is shorter, I get to use a sponge brush and it's gonna make the, the hair curly. Then you can also use a comb and kind of um, coil it that way. But as I mentioned on the outset, if you've seen my videos before, I'm always gonna choose the easy way. <laughs> Let's see. In fact, it's very rare that I even get to do the finger coils because of how much time it takes. It doesn't even take that long. It, only, it took, what, less than 10 minutes? But yeah, so now I've got my sponge brush. And you see these holes right here? This is what's gonna allow the hair to be able to curl. So you're just gonna take it and you're gonna go in a circular motion. So I finally went to the barber and got my hair cut. But I went to a barber that I don't know because I just kind of wanted to see if I like what they did. And I, I posted that, that video as a story or I'm going to post that video as a story on my Instagram. But see, my husband's Hispanic. So I decided to go to his barber, uh, Hispanic barber, just to kind of see, because my, my thought is if you're a barber, you should have learned the same thing, you know? Um, but obviously I wanted to test that out. So I went and I kind of think y'all that the problem, I, I feel like she could have did, could have did it if I asked it. You see how this curls right here? I feel like she could have did it if I knew what I wanted, but I didn't really know what I wanted because it was my first time going to a barber. Um, but I feel like it would have come out better had I knew exactly what I wanted. Um, and also I couldn't really show her the picture that I was basing it on because my husband was recording the video. Um, but I'm gonna go to the one that I do know that my dad goes to. And I'm going to, I, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure that'll come out right because I feel like the taper will be great and I feel like the fade is gonna be great. Um, to have just, I've seen his work. So I'm going to go to him next. And I think as I understand more of what I'm asking for on the hairstyles, I'll go back to my husband's stylist and just kind of see what happens, test it out again, but this time knowing what I want. Um, but if you want to see that, that little video, it's on Instagram at Miss Smiling All Day Trine. And I'll put that as a link for you guys so you can check that out. That's it guys. I'm just gonna let this dry and keep watching till the very end and I'll show you some pictures of my hair in its dry state. Um, so tomorrow I'm going to undo it and everything and I'll let you guys see what it looks like in this dry state. Go ahead and let me know in the comments what you like to use on your wash day. I wanna see some of those products also and, and try them out for myself as well. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and give that a thumbs up. And guys, next video, we're gonna be talking about how I like Design Essentials, my review of Design Essentials. Um, and we're gonna be talking about these products that I just used today. That Design Essentials Almond and Avocado Oil, so free free shampoo, their leave-in conditioner, and that curl defining gel. Guys, thank you so much for watching my video and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one.